Hey, what's up you guys? It's Annie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here on this channel, I talk all things how to start, grow, and have a successful YouTube channel. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, then feel free to subscribe down below to my channel and join our little family here because we would love to have you. Now, all things relating to SEO, ranking in search, getting views from search rankings, that is something I talk about a lot on this channel. In fact, I have an entire playlist on my channel dedicated to videos about SEO. However, in this video, I want to break things down a little bit further and talk more specifically about how to rank high in search and get as close to that number one spot as possible. Because it has been statistically proven on YouTube that when somebody searches up something on YouTube, they usually find their answer between the first and fifth video. So if your video is ranking 10th or 15th or even 20th, then chances are you're not going to get a lot of traffic because most people don't go that low in search rankings. So if you want a much better chance of getting more views from search rankings, then your best bet is to rank as high as possible and get as close to that number one spot as possible. And in today's video, that is exactly what I'm going to do and help you guys to rank as high as possible in YouTube search. So hopefully this helps you. I hope you guys enjoy and let's jump right into it. So first things first, the first thing I highly suggest is to download the free TubeBuddy extension tool. This is a free extension tool for YouTube that basically does all of the optimizing for you so that all of the confusing stuff is handled for you and you don't have to worry about it for yourself. Now there is both a free and pro version, but I'm going to be talking mostly about the free version in this video. So I'm going to have that link down below in case you guys want to download it to follow along in this video or get it just to check out for yourselves. So step number one to ranking in search is to pick a keyword. So obviously if you want somebody to find your video as a search result, you have to have a keyword to target in order to search in the first place. Now, contrary to popular belief, this is not as easy as saying, I want to rank for how to bake a cake because there are two things to consider at all times when trying to rank in search and that is a search volume and competition volume. So anything you could ever possibly search for on YouTube has both a search volume and a competition volume. And unless you have a keyword research tool like TubeBuddy, it is next to impossible to actually know what these volumes are and use them to your personal use. So if I go onto YouTube, open up the TubeBuddy extension and go over to the keyword explorer. I'm going to type in my keyword I want to rank for, which is how to bake a cake. You're going to see automatically this has a search volume and a competition volume. Now what these volumes tell you is that the search volume is incredibly high, which is exactly what you want. However, the competition volume is also insanely high, which is no bueno and we don't want that. Because what it means when you have a very high competition means there are a ton, probably millions of other videos out there competing against your video and the chances to rank in search get much, much lower. So what you want to do is break down your target keyword into what is called a long tail keyword. So when you have a short tail keyword that is something very general like how to bake a cake something that is very very highly searched but also very general and very broad when you have a longer tail keyword you're taking a very short term very broad keyword and breaking it down so basically going from how to bake a cake to how to bake a vegan chocolate cake much more specific much more broken down and much less competitive and that is the main reason why it is so hard to rank as a smaller youtuber is because a lot of the time people are targeting shorter tail keywords that have so much competition, it is almost impossible to rank in search. So as a smaller YouTuber, you definitely want to be targeting longer tail keywords. So let's say I switch out the keywords, forget how to bake a cake, and instead I'm going to do how to bake a vegan cake. Much more broken down, much more specific, and less general. If I search that up on the keyword explorer, that tells me right away this has a very high search volume, but also a very, very low competition volume, which makes it a much better keyword for me to target because it has less competition and more more of a chance I'm actually going to rank for it. Now, the only downside to using the Keyword Explorer on the free version is that you only have access to the unweighted score, which is an average for everybody, a very general score. When you use the weighted score on TubeBuddy, that is a score that is directly specific to your channel and gives you a much more precise reading. The unweighted score still gives you a very good idea of the search versus competition, and you still have a very good chance of ranking with this. So then once you have figured out your target keyword, you're going to be trying to rank rank for, the second thing you want to do is come up with variations of your keyword. So for example, once you have your main target keyword of how to bake a vegan cake, then you want to find other variations of this keyword. So if you have the pro version of TubeBuddy, inside of the Keyword Explorer, when you type in your target keyword, you're going to have two boxes full of suggested tags you can use as your variations. However, if you're on the free version, you don't have access to this. Now one little life hack I can share for this is if you are limited to the free version, 
again. Go onto YouTube search and search up your target keyword, which would be how to bake a vegan cake. Take the first three or five top ranked videos, go onto the video, and then with TubeBuddy off to the side, you have access and are able to see what tags they've used on their videos. So what this does is basically give you a whole long list of different keywords and tags you can use on your video. So even though you are not able to necessarily see all the weighted scores of all these keywords, it still gives you a very good idea of keywords you can target for your video. So as you go through these videos and the keyword research tool, what you want to do is make a list of all the variations of tags you have found. So then the next step is to build a tag box. Now this is a very, very vital step. A lot of people skip when they are uploading and optimizing their videos. So when you upload your video to YouTube, what you want to do is scroll down to where you have the tag box in your upload settings. You want to first type in your main target keyword, the first keyword you found in this entire process. Then once you have that, you want to take your long list of variations and plug as many of those tags and keywords as possible into your tag box. And why this is so important is that when somebody searches up something on YouTube, the YouTube algorithm automatically looks at different videos on YouTube, looks at their titles, tags, and description box. And if they see what the person is searching in your titles, your tags, and description, that gives you your very best chance of ranking in search. Now, if you have not only your main target keyword, but all the other variations, that gives you not only a chance to rank for your main keyword, but every other keyword you have included. And if your video is ranking for 25 or 15 different keywords, you have 15 different search items working for you all together all at once, which is just going to maximize your chances of being found in search and getting views from search. So YouTube allows you up to 500 characters for your tag box and you want to use as many of them as possible to give yourself as many chances as possible to rank in search. So then the next thing you want to do is build your title. So what you want to do for your title first is take your main target keyword and put that in the beginning of your title. So if our main keyword is how to bake a vegan cake, that is the first thing you put in your title. When somebody searches this up on YouTube, YouTube will see that keyword in your title and have a very good chance of ranking that video in search. Then what I often like to do is what I call a compound title. So I will take not only my main keyword I have picked, but take another keyword I have in my tag box that has a very high score and use that as a second part of my title. So I will often have one keyword, a line, and then another keyword, giving me two chances to rank for two different keywords and again, maximize my view potential. So that basically just gives your video another boost. Then the next thing you want to do is craft your description box. Now this is where I see so many mistakes being made. People who leave this box empty and write nothing or have only one sentence that has nothing to do with the video, saying something like, hope you enjoy the video or be sure to subscribe or something that does not help you rank in search. When you look at any video that is ranked in search, it is the first 200 characters of the description box that is registered in search. So if you see all the videos ranked in search, you see the first 200 characters of each one of their descriptions. So what you want to do is take your main keyword once again and put that at the beginning of your description so that when somebody searches that up on YouTube, YouTube's algorithm sees it in your title, your tags, and the top of your description. Now what is vital to not having your video and your description flagged as spam is to make your keywords sound natural. So don't just take your keyword and copy paste it into the description, make it sound natural. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bake a vegan cake. It has to flow as a natural, very real sounding description or it gets flagged as spam, which is not good for your video. So then once you've done that, what you want to do is take all the other variations you've put in your tag box, take as many of those and form them into a description under your main keyword. And again, make them sound very real and very natural. So a lot of people use this trick of taking all their tags and copy pasting them into a little cloud in the description, which gets your video flagged as spam. So you want to take as many of those tags as possible and put them into a very real, very natural sounding description so that your video gets picked up for every one of those keywords in search. And that is how to perfectly craft a description box that gets you ranked in search and not flagged as spam. And if you have the pro version of TubeBuddy, then you have this ever so helpful tool called the SEO Studio, which gives you a little checklist off to the side of the box and basically allows you to set up your titles, tags, and description to get as perfect a 100 SEO score as possible. I love this tool because there are so many times that I think I've done it perfectly and I end up with like a 65 or a 55 SEO score. Whereas in using the SEO studio, I get a 100 score every single time. So if you do have the pro version of TubeBuddy, I 10 on 10 
can recommend this tool. So now the final step, the icing on the cake, if you will, to ranking in search is your thumbnail. Because when somebody searches up something on YouTube, they get tons and tons of search results. What you want to happen is you want to have your thumbnail stick out among the others. So if you're using a dark, grainy, not very colorful picture, chances are your thumbnail is not going to stick out very much. Whereas if everybody else's thumbnail is kind of dark and not the most bright, and yours comes in as this flashy, bright, colorful thumbnail with big, easy to read text, then your thumbnail sticks out among all of them, and you have a much better chance of your video getting picked out amongst the others. And again, within the SEO studio, there is this very helpful tool where you can upload your thumbnail picture, and it's going to show you what it looks like amongst all the other ranked videos. So if you do this and you see that your thumbnail is not sticking out very well, chances are you want to fix that thumbnail before you actually upload your video. Whereas if you upload your thumbnail and see it amongst the other ranked videos and yours stands out amongst all the others, then you know this is a very good thumbnail to actually rank in search with and have a very good potential of getting views on. This helps me so, so much, I can't even describe it. So once you've followed all these steps, you've found your keyword, you found your variations, you have perfectly optimized your video and gotten the perfect thumbnail, then you are ready to go, ready to upload your video and get your videos ranked in search. So that you guys is it for today's video. I really, really hope this helped you guys because SEO is such a mystery to beginner and newer YouTubers. So hopefully this was even a little bit of help. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.